Okay. So, and this is the time to ask. If you have questions about how the mean works, it's easier to ask now during the quarter than after the class is finished and your grade comes out. So definitely ask if you have more questions. But I think one of the concerns people had was, say if you got, uh, I'm going to pick a random number, like 83%. You might feel as if, oh, I got an 83%, that's a B, and then the curve lowered my grade to a C. But the problem is I think we get stuck in the high school percentages deal. So like, oh, I know from high school 80 to 90 is a B. But you need to get used to that's kind of, that's just like a random, arbitrary assignment. For example, uh, if you do brain surgery and you do it 90% correctly, is that an A? You know what I mean? That might not work. If you're an accountant and you do your accounting 98% correctly, is that an A plus? You know, if you work for a bank and your numbers are 98% correct, is that an A plus? Uh, the averages, depending on where you're at, can be totally different. In baseball, if you're hitting 40%, you are crazy awesome. Uh, in teaching chemistry at Davis, if I have 80 to 90% of you like me, that would be exceptional. It makes sense that averages are totally going to be different, just depending on uh, where you're at. And I think the emotions run higher uh, so people always feel bad when the curve uh, lowers your grade relative to what you would have got in high school and you feel good when it raises your score relative to what you get in high school. Does that make sense? So what you need to do, I would encourage you as best you can, purge what you learned in high school uh, about the averages. Um, so if, let's say you're doing the practice test and you get one standard deviation above the mean when you're doing the practice test. Uh, now you come into class and let's say you have a really hard exam. Well, you should still get one standard deviation above the mean. So let's say you get a 55% mean and you get one standard deviation above that mean, that is what should be expected. Let's say you have a really easy test, like we did, uh, and the mean is like 78%, and you're typically getting one standard deviation above. You're still going to get about that. Does that make sense? You, the only reason that would keep you from, from getting that high, usually, is just your nerves, which is a separate issue, see your guru or spiritual leader about that. Um, so uh, I think a common question will come up, does my mean just depend on the size of the class and what, what score my class gets? So if I'm in a class and my class has really high means, does that, you know, did I pick a bad quarter to take the class? In general, no, for our class, because one, our class size is so big. Another is, every quarter I actually like analyze the data of our means, so since I've been teaching. And I can tell you the intellectual ability in the last 10 years or so has not changed among students. So we're pretty much having the same means for the same kinds of tests. Uh, the next question then comes is like, um, how can I improve my score on the test if I'm doomed to get a particular mean uh, or a particular score based on how I do on the practice test. Really the only way to improve your score after you take a look at your practice test is to think really strategically. So you, let's say you're going through the practice test and you always are consistently bombing the redox balancing question. Well then you need the better you can improve on that before the actual exam, that's what's going to improve your score. Or let's say I'm always bad at naming, and so you'll always bomb the naming parts on the practice exams. Your only way to improve your score, or the best way to improve your score, is to drill into your mind, do like 50 examples of naming, 
so that you can improve that. Does that make sense? So that's really the way to improve your score. So as you're going into the next exam, you would need to think, okay, what am I consistently missing every time I do the practice exams when I'm not looking at the answers? And that's what I need to study in order to prove my grade on the next exam. Does that make sense? So hopefully that clarifies things. I know that emotions still uh, run crazy. <laughs> Uh, so it takes a little time, but uh, after you take a look at things, make sure to ask me questions because after we have the final, I, I can always answer questions over email, but uh, it, it's quite a bit more difficult than if you would just ask me that. So uh, hopefully that helps slightly.